Hello, folks. Well, you know, the days are numbered when I have to do this, but I have to do this, folks. It is a rent video on a toy. Again, I didn't see this coming. I really didn't. <laughs> I didn't see this coming at all. I mean, holy frick. So, Power Rangers Zeo is coming. It's here, actually. It's here. And I feel sorry for this one person who commented saying, the Shogun Zord, I really wish it would get released. Technically, I thought they were hinting at it, but I'm not sure. It's it's confusing. I guess technically when it comes to my over Power Rangers, they freaking spam the hell out of the Morphers. Well, mostly. They still didn't do the other movie Morphers, which is, let me see. They didn't do Blue Ranger, Black Ranger, or Yellow Ranger, so that's kind of sucky. Even though I wouldn't collect the movie Morphers, I wanted a freaking Gold Ranger Morpher, Gold Morpher, and sadly, because of their bastard asses, I couldn't because they, they changed it and got the freaking movie White Ranger Morpher. Freak you, I wanted the Gold Ranger Morpher. I was trying to be a somewhat completionist of the original line that I would get as a kid. Power Blaster, Dragon Dagger, Regular Morpher, and Golden Morpher. That sounds like a good, and of course, the freaking, most of the freaking Megazords. And that's what I did. But thanks to you, Bastard Asses, I have to freaking wait until someday, someday, I actually get to see the freaking Gold Morpher again. And I would like to have it complete in box, though. He's like, yeah, this is the time where I'm now like, oh, I need to have it complete in box as if it never been touched, never been opened. And I would basically touch it once, look at it, be like, oh, that's awesome. That's wicked. Put it back in the box and then there you go. <laughs> uh, anyways, anyways. The real issue today is talking about the Xeonizer. Yes, thanks to one guy who actually has the Xeonizer on his channel right now. He actually showing it. The Xeonizer... It looks good. It sounds good. But why the hell do they have generic voices that replaced all of the freaking actors in there? Yeah, because Jason David Frank wasn't in that. Johnny Bosch wasn't in that. Catherine wasn't in that. Um, I know her name might be Nakia. Nakia? That might be her name. And, of course, uh, Frick. My gosh, you don't remember his name. <laughs> it's like he likes some of your things on Instagram. You don't remember his freaking name. Sorry. Rocky, anyways. So, for some reason, you can't do exactly what you did for the Saba? Are you freaking kidding me? It's like Saba. They got the guy who voiced Saba. And he actually did new freaking damn lines for the Saba, even though no one really give a sh about the Saba. <laughs> Some did, but later on, it just became nothing but storage, <laughs> nothing but a uh, freaking damn wasteland where it's like, yep, we're going to have to slash the price on Saba. <laughs> would I get a Saba if it was like $40 or $30? Maybe I would maybe consider it. But the thing is, is that they could have just stole it from the TV show. It's like, it's kind of funny how even in Bandai Japan, they thought of that idea. But they decided to get the original actors for Kakuranger. No, no, sorry, not Kakuranger. Um, it was Dairanger. Dun -dun 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 -dun. It's like they were able to get the five freaking people to actually do at least a few things. You guys, Bandai America, all you have in there is the roll call. That's all you got. And you're telling me the roll call costs too much to get them over here? It's like, I bet chances are all you have to do is pay 30 bucks each and they'll be <laughs> not even 30 bucks. I'll pay even 10 bucks to basically be like, Zero Ranger 2, yellow. <laughs> That's it. That's all you do. That's all she's saying is Zero Ranger 2, yellow. That's That's it. That's it. That's freaking damn it. That's it. <laughs> it's like, that's it. That's all you're making every one of those five do is just do a roll call. That's all you're doing. My gosh. The only person who has an extra line is Rocky for some reason, which he gets to say it's morphin' time, which is like, 
the fuck now? <laughs> Looks like he got out of love with Jason David Frank for some reason. <laughs> I would personally say, give him 20 bucks, allow him to do the roll call, and each one of them say it's morphing time. It's like, that's pretty much a good idea. But instead, you decide to get some generic freaking actors who try to sound just like him, but sadly, it's no banana. Yeah, it's, it's nuh-uh, nuh-uh. Thank goodness I don't even want the Xeonizer. Thank freaking goodness I just went to go Ranger staff. I just hope they don't freak that up. All they need to do is not have a damn voice actor. No, no voice actor. If you can't get um, Austin St. John to do some voice acting, and of course, the guy who played Prince of Triforia, I'll be kind of okay with that. But I'm fine with just having it with crisper sounds. Just like in there. Heck, please at least allow someone to say, it's time for a gold rush. It's like, please, you can't screw this up. You can't screw this up because if someone actually shows me the Gold Ranger staff, looks good, and it does. Sounds good, but the freaking damn stuff you put in it, it's like, oh my gosh, no. Okay, all I need is just a few freaking generic freaking blasts. Okay, maybe have the Gold Ranger theme in there. Even though, sadly, when it comes to the Dragon Dagger, there was no dun 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 dun. Yeah, it was like, what the frick? <laughs> it's like, yeah, I'm fine with you just replacing the Zeo Ranger tune, Zeo tune, powers of Zeo tune with the Time for a Gold Rush. It's like, I would love it to at least, because at least, at least I'll get to hear it. Instead of you guys being smart enough to be like, oh, we have a Gold Ranger in Ninja Steel. Let's revamp the Gold Ranger song. <laughs> it's like, yeah, um, why the hell haven't you done it yet? Why the hell does the Six Rangers get to have a theme? <laughs> but really, the Xeonizer, it looks good. It sounds good. But they didn't do the extra steps to make it perfect. Well, at least the good news is that they actually did the work for um, Bandai Japan, so all they got to do is just get your damn mold, do the extra work, and make it actually valuable for those who love O-Ranger. So, good job, Bandai America. You half-assed it. <laughs> that, that's just how it goes. It's like you half-assed it. I mean, I get it that maybe the actors have something special to do, and maybe it'll be $50 each, but the extra touches, not really. I mean, I really hope that they could actually just be like, hey, well, the community is so well-loved. We got lots of freaking cash because of the conventions. Hopefully, they'll cut you a deal and be like, hey, we'll do it. <laughs> and I, I'm going to hate the freaking damn answers where it's going to be like, so, you guys heard about the Zeo Morpher, right? Yeah. Would you guys have voiced for them? It's like, yeah, if they called us, we would actually have done it, and we would have done it free. It's like, Bandai America, you dumbasses. <laughs> yeah, as soon as it gets out, that one of them would have actually have done it for free, or maybe all of them would have done it for free. That's where it's like, Bandai America, you dumb pieces of... Sh you didn't even check to see if they would actually charge you for it it's like my freaking damn gosh i really hope when turbo comes you won't oh yeah sorry you guys won't be doing shit anymore it's like i forgot you guys will you're done after zeo you're done yes the breakup is real oh thank goodness <laughs> it's like oh thank goodness because the breakup my gosh thank goodness man you guys suck it's like, wow, you guys going to end it on a bad note when it comes to your final morpher. At least I think this is their final morpher. If they get to the Gold Ranger morpher, well, I don't give a shit. <laughs> I just went to Gold Ranger staff. 